Good morning guys. It is currently 6 o'clock. I have a workout class at 7. I have a power core class. I've actually wanted to adjust my sleep schedule a bit because you guys know I wake up at about 5.30 every weekday. But I feel like my body is just not getting enough sleep and it's so unnecessary sometimes. There is nothing that I need to wake up for. I have just been waking up super early for the sake of doing it and for the sake of being the most productive. But sometimes I feel like my body is less productive during the day because I get super tired and my body is like overworked and I'm feeling a little bit burnt out so I do a workout class twice a week at 7 a.m. so on those days I'll wake up at around 5 30 to 6 and then on the other days of the week that I'm just going to the gym the weekdays I I'm planning on potentially just waking up when the sun rises. So probably around 7 o'clock is going to be the time frame now. But still going to bed at 9.30 every single day. So that I still get like a full sleep. And on the days that I wake up later, I'll get like 9 to 10 hours of sleep. Which would be so amazing. And even if I don't get to bed right at 9.30 if I have something that night. It's not that big of a deal if I could sleep in the next morning until 7. Like apparently women need 9 to 10 hours of sleep. As opposed to men only need 7 to 8. There's like been a new study. And so I've totally believe that because we have a system that works totally different with our hormones and everything i just think that for me to be more like healthy i need to wake up a little bit later sometimes and have more of a balance with that anyways i'll talk about it more like later in the vlog but that's the plan but today i am getting up early because i do have a class and i love my 7 a.m classes so i don't want to give up those twice a week so anyways i gotta go continue getting ready for my workout um i'll talk to you guys later Okay guys, I'm just about to leave, but I feel just so well rested today because I gave my body so much sleep over the weekend and that just goes to show it's not that you're lazy, you're just burnt out. It's like sometimes you don't realize that you can burn yourself out by not getting enough sleep or not eating as well as you should. Like little things like that could slowly start to burn you out over time and you have to really listen to your body because I could have kept on just like not getting enough sleep and then I would probably turn miserable, but that is not healthy. That's not good. If you're feeling something it's for a reason you're not feeling sad you're not feeling tired you're not feeling burnt out for no reason like there's always a reason behind it and you have to look at your everyday habits look at what you're doing every day your routines and seeing okay what am i doing here that is making me feel like this and how can i change that how can i implement more things to make me feel better or less things to make me feel better i've just honestly learned through my health journey in life is you always just have to stay in tune with your body and listen to it and that's like the most important part because one thing can work for one person but it's not going to work for everybody like in my last video i tried waking up at 3 a.m because i was trying the most productive morning routines and i was reading online that some people said that the 3 a.m routine was life-changing for them and they absolutely loved it and i really hated it and i know i only woke up once but i'm like there's no way i can do this every day like it's so unsustainable for me so that just kind of goes to show that it's like you could see everybody online doing all these productive all these healthy things but like that doesn't necessarily mean it's going to work for you so try it out if it works for you great if it doesn't then don't keep forcing your body and yourself to do it find what works for you and do that instead but anyways okay i literally have to go because i'm running late going to oxygen yoga and fitness today of course doing their power core class i'm so excited i love this class so much i do have a free class with them that you guys can book so go to my instagram go in my health highlight and all the information is at the end of it if you guys want to book with them because they're awesome
some hair care. I just, I love it. Hey guys, so I just finished hanging out with Halia. We stopped at the mall, we were at a cafe. Now it's around five o'clock and I'm gonna run into Meridian Meats just to get some steak for dinner because I really wanna make some Chipotle steak bowls. I've never made this recipe before, so I'll show you guys what I do, but I have like beans, corn, and everything that's gonna go in it with guacamole. So I just need to get the steaks. I found the recipe on Pinterest, so slay. But I'm just gonna run in now, it's traffic time, so the roads are super busy. I hate driving around this time. I always try to avoid it since I don't actually like need to drive ever but anyways i'm just gonna run in quick get the steaks and then be on my way home but it's such like a gloomy icky rainy day today so i'm glad i got out of the house though because at least i did something but i'll show you guys how i make the bowls when i get home <laughs> Okay guys, so here is tonight's dinner. We're gonna make steak chipotle bowls and oh my gosh, it looks so good. So I have rice, we're gonna do that as the base. I forgot to get lettuce, that's the only thing we're missing but it's still gonna be good. I made guacamole, red onions, there's black beans and corn that I heated up, some steak pieces, some lime, and then some salsa. And you can also do like a sour cream dressing on top, which we're not gonna do, but we're just gonna put salsa and guac. So I'll have the recipe linked down below, but I'm so excited to eat this. So healthy, so easy and what a cute little meal because Joel and I love Chipotle so this is kind of like our homemade at home Chipotle. I feel like I didn't really execute on the presentation. I could have had a better bowl but you know what? It kind of looks good. I know it's going to taste good. I'm so excited to eat this. Dinner was so good you guys oh my gosh 10 out of 10 recommend making those bowls it was so easy to put together and it actually tasted like chipotle so 10 out of 10 recommend chef's kiss will make again talia and i did a little bit of shopping today and i also have a couple packages she needed to get some hair care products like she needed to get some new shampoo and i'm like i will come along because you know I'm always down to shop and then we walked in the store we were browsing in there for like 25 minutes maybe even half an hour i don't even know we were in there for a long time because you know when like you go into a store and there's just so many products you just want to look at everything it's just like such a girl thing to do we were just reading all the products being like oh what do you, you use and we were just like going through our hair care anyways regardless i got some new shampoo just because i'm running out of my other one and i wanted to try a different brand so she said that um i got new things actually so she said that Redken was recommended to her because apparently this is like salon quality shampoo but at like a super affordable price at least like more affordable than your average like salon quality shampoo so these are both from Redken and I got the extreme strength repair and reinforce and reinforce I got this recommended this one specific line by the worker there so we'll see how I like it and then Talia also got the same Redken but like a different one because she has blonde hair so she needs to like do upkeep for that but anyways i'm excited to try it i'll let you guys know how i like it actually i didn't even smell it so let's give her a sniff test she opens like that mm, that smells really good i'm excited i just actually washed my hair this morning so unfortunately she won't be used for another few days but next time i wash my hair gonna be using it anyways that's that and then talia also recommended me this milkshake leave-in conditioner she said she uses it and it makes it super easy to like brush through her hair after she puts it in and i smelt it it smells so good it's, i don't even know it has kind of like a tropical scent i'm so excited to use this because i don't even have a leave-in conditioner right now i've just been using like a hair oil on my ends so and this bottle is actually huge so she said it lasts her so long and she's only 30 dollars, which i feel like is pretty good for this size bottle like this is huge and also these products were buy one go in 50 off so we saved a little bit of money too and then i also got a sephora package 
which I really bought impulsively on the weekends because I saw something was on sale and I was like, oh my gosh. I randomly clicked the app this weekend and it was like on sale and I'm like, eh, I have to order it. So I did and I'll show you what it is in a sec. So this is what I got this on sale. The first aid um, ultra repair intense hydration with collodial oatmeal. I love this stuff so much. I've already been through two tubs of it. This was like originally $60 on sale for 30. So it was like 50% off. I've never had it in like a school bottle format but like i just use it for my face so it doesn't really matter i know first aid beauty is just such a good brand for like sensitive and eczema prone skin and there's like no fragrance but i really 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 love this cream for my face and i've been missing it i kind of forgot about it once i finished my last tub and i just never repurchased it like i haven't used this for months but i'm really excited that it's back in my hands because she's a good good face cream and i have no idea if it's still on sale but go check if it is because if it is definitely worth 50 percent off like that's that's insane. And then I also got the Inky List Oat Cleansing Balm. This used to be my go-to. These are just like repurchases, both the stuff that I haven't used for months, but I really miss. And this basically just makes it super easy to take off your makeup. And I love the consistency of it. It does really well for my skin. And it's also super cheap. It's only like $18. So this is a slay. Definitely recommend checking her out. I used to use her every day. That's about it. The last thing in here is just a sample of this Laneige Cream to Skin Toner. I actually love this stuff. I've had it before as a sample and she's so good. That's a little haul for today. Today. I'm just gonna go upstairs get ready for bed and read relax and just have a nice good evening unwind and I think I'm gonna sleep in a bit tomorrow so we'll see but I love myself a good wind down like it's only right now it's 7 30 and this is perfect time for me to just start unwinding getting ready for bed <laughs> Good morning guys. Here is my gym outfit of the day. I just have these black leggings on and I put on a black workout tank. I honestly forgot the brand of these two. It's not Lululemon, but it's like a dupe for Lululemon and it's so soft. And then I'm just wearing this jacket from Princess Polly with my New Balance 530s, I believe they're called. But yeah, that is the little gym fit of the day. I just got to the gym so this is my first day of experimenting waking up a little bit earlier to see if it gives me enough energy throughout the day like I was I think I already touched on this but basically I just whoa I almost literally hit that thing behind me I just realized how far I backed up in this parking spot oh sometimes I don't even look I just back up because I don't have a backup camera and I just eh, into the spot I'm kidding I'm, I'm a good driver but like I'm just so good at backing in that like I just feel like I don't have to look but like I literally almost ran into the bush anyways I just felt like my body was suffering a bit because of me waking up at 5 a.m. five days a week Monday to Friday and I just wasn't feeling like I was maximizing my energy maximizing my potential and the fact that I was just over exhausting myself and I see Joel waking up at earlier than 5 a.m. basically every single day and I'm like oh my gosh like I want to be like that I want to do that but he's also a male I'm a female and our bodies are just made so differently females need a lot more sleep and especially me as an individual like not even regarding the fact that I am a girl I just know that my body needs a lot of sleep and i've been like this since i was younger my mom said that i was always such a good sleeper she's like you've always slept through the night you've always wanted to go to bed so early and i feel like that just really came with me throughout my whole life and into my adulthood because i even feel like that now where it's like if i don't get 
at least like eight hours of sleep i can't function properly and so it's just really important to me and i honestly feel my best and most energetic in the morning when i get like nine ten hours of sleep if i get over that then i don't actually feel good i actually feel opposite but i think the sweet spot for me is like nine hours nine and a half to ten and i know that's like so much time sleeping like oh my gosh i'm gonna waste my life away sleeping but at the same time it's like okay clearly my body is trying to tell me something because i haven't been feeling good waking up that early every single day so that's why i'm gonna do twice a week waking up at 5 30 for my 7 a.m class my workout class and then i'm gonna do three times a week waking up at seven because i just feel like that extra hour and a half to two hours of sleep every morning really makes a ginormous difference and also i'm like a very very balanced person i'm very good at incorporating balance and i know when i need to incorporate more balance you know what i mean and i just feel like i was leaning a little bit more towards the exhausting my body side rather than like letting myself have more of a balance with waking up because on the weekends i let myself wake up whenever and also i'm going to bed a lot later on the weekends because sometimes i'm doing some fun stuff so obviously i'm not gonna be like bye guys going to bed at nine see you later i notice my body every single day regardless naturally gets tired at around 9 9 30 which is crazy because i've kind of trained my body to fall asleep around that time yeah so regardless i'm going to be still going to bed at 9 9 30 i've been reading at night my eyes literally just start to close and i'm like okay now it's time to go to bed so it's always around like 9 to 10 anyway so yeah i feel really good this morning and even though it's a little later it feels weird working out this late in the morning because i haven't done this in a while but it feels also good because i feel like really energized and i'm excited to see how my energy levels are going to be throughout the day in comparison to when i wake up at 5 30 to see if it gives me more energy and more sustained energy because that's what i'm really looking for because i noticed myself getting really burnt out and tired in the middle of the day also this is winter guys we are in our hibernation era you got to give yourself a little bit extra grace in the winter especially because there's not as much sun you're not getting vitamin d as much and it's just gloomy weather which is not the best so if that means that you got to give yourself a little bit extra grace sleep in that extra hour then that's okay i feel like in the summer we got no excuses to be on our grind because it's sunny beautiful outside it's like a lot easier to just wake up in the morning because the sun is blaring in your eyes which is so beautiful but like in the winter us gals are a little bit frosted in the summer we defrost but for this era right now we're in our hibernation era so i'm giving myself a little bit of grace i'm excited to see what it's going to do to my body today and i will keep you guys updated but let's go work out let's kill this leg day every time i come to the gym i basically just do legs because i only come to the gym twice a week because i do workout classes the other days in my workout classes there tends to be like a lot of arms so that's why i do legs at the gym if that makes sense because i feel like i don't get like a good leg workout ever if i don't do it at the gym it's really starting to rain right now okay i'm gonna run in let's go work out you got this this is your motivation to work out because it's not easy like let me tell you i i don't want to work out if it was a choice i wouldn't be doing it but i don't give myself a choice i just drive here and i do it so that's what it's got to be sometimes i'm just procrastinating at this point i've talked your ear off already let's go So I just got to the grocery store. I also stopped in Indigo because I wanted to see if they have like a planner. I have been on the hunt for like the perfect planner and I saw some on Papier's website that I really want, but I'm pretty sure they only ship to the US. I don't know if they ship to Canada. I should actually properly look into that. Maybe they do, but I really, really want to get like the perfect planner because the one that I have right now, I just don't like the layout of it and I want to start like planning my days better and I want like a times table. I want like to-do lists. I just saw the perfect one on Papier. They just 
didn't have it in store and to go carries Pappy products and I was just really sad they really didn't have much selection at all like they had no planners in there I was like what the heck but anyways I just stopped at the grocery store because I don't really honestly need to do a big grocery shop because tonight we're going to Joel's parents for dinner and then tomorrow we're eating out because it's Friday we always eat out on Fridays it's our little date night over the weekend usually I don't cook we just order food or we figure something out so I don't really need to get any dinners I just need to get a couple random things like sparkling water some kombuchas and maybe just like some chips for over the weekend to enjoy so it's not gonna be a huge grocery haul i'm just gonna get a few things which is rare like i feel like i didn't even need to go grocery shopping this week which is kind of nice because we had a turkey dinner on the weekend that joel's mom made since she didn't do it over christmas so she gave us so much leftover so we were eating that this whole week and then yesterday i made one thing for dinner and then tomorrow we don't eat dinner so it's kind of funny how i've barely cooked this week which is really nice break to be honest anyways let's go get a couple things gonna be very quick usually I spend like an hour in the grocery store but hopefully I can be in and out in like 20 minutes I say that now but then I know I'm gonna come out with like $200 worth of stuff because that's what always, always happens but I'm not <laughs> okay let's go I'm actually gonna check Papier's website sometimes I just don't want to type and I just voice record everything does Papier ship to Canada me and my friends are always constantly sending each other voice notes I rarely text Honestly, I text sometimes, but usually if I have like something big to say, like I'm such a voice note girly. If I have something to say, I'm not gonna write a huge paragraph and text it. Nope, I'm voice noting you because there's no way I'm typing that out. Peppy does ship to Canada. They actually did send me a little package like a year or two ago and I tried to email them again, but that person is no longer, I don't think works there. So the email didn't go through, but I'd love to support them regardless. So anyways. Just got home, gonna unpack the groceries and then I'll give you guys a little haul. I also got way more than I expected. I spent a hundred dollars, not me predicting, but you always go into the store expecting to buy two things and you come out with 20. It's just like how it is. Here's today's mini little grocery haul. So I actually stocked up on some frozen burritos. These are from the brand Amy's and they're the best. It's just really nice to have these in our freezer for a quick meal. If we ever need something, on the go or if i don't want to cook that day whatever i got two for me two for joel these two are gluten-free for myself and then these are for joel but they're vegan um gluten-free and they're so good the ingredients are all organic so if you guys have never heard of them definitely check them out i just love keeping these in my freezer they come in handy so much and then i just got two sparkling waters you guys know i've been obsessed i recently tried these sea salt rice cakes and the ingredients are super good there's like literally three ingredients and it's organic and i just have been obsessed with having these as a quick breakfast putting like peanut butter honey on top or making like a scrambled egg thing putting that on top with avocado these are just so good for a quick meal i literally ran through my last pack just got some kombuchas in the mango flavor my favorite from this brand though is their raspberry lemonade but they just didn't have any then i just got some organic half and half cream some raspberries they didn't have any organic strawberries so i got raspberries and i just love having a little berry in the house to snack on got some two yams i got some zevias of course such a good soda a replacement and then i decided that i wanted to try these chips they're gluten-free i've never tried them before so yeah they kind of look like dorito dupes we'll see how they are and then i also just got joel a celsius because he asked for one so that is the little grocery haul i just made breakfast in my adorable bowl but i have yams that i put in the air fryer avocado and poached eggs and you guys already know i'm obsessed with this breakfast bowl i have it all the freaking time because it's so good i'm gonna enjoy this and then i actually have a meeting in 15 minutes so i kind of gotta hurry up but this breakfast is such a sleigh <laughs> Hey guys, so I'm just about to get ready for bed, but I did get an Amazon package, so I wanted to... 
toxic, guys. So I got a refill of my TheraBreath mouthwash. This one is their clean mint um, that's made for like the nighttime. It's supposed to help with gum health and all that. I will have an Amazon link to this down below because I love this mouthwash so much. It literally does keep my breath fresh for so long and I feel such a difference when I use it. And I just want to maximize my oral health. I just want to do as much as I can to keep my mouth healthy. And I've also been oil pulling. If you guys didn't see my last video, I tried oil pulling. I've actually been doing it all week and I love it so far. So we've been continuing that. I actually got a little container for the coconut oil. I ordered these on Amazon so long ago. These are also linked in my storefront. And I just do a scoop of oil every day, switch it on my mouth for about 10 minutes while I'm making the bed and stuff and then spit it out in the trash. And it's supposed to help with bacteria in your mouth build up and like all that stuff. You guys should go check out my Amazon storefront. I have so much good stuff on there and I actually really update it frequently. It's a sleigh over there. I have a workout class at 7 tomorrow morning so I want to get to bed early so I can get as much sleep as possible but overall waking up today at 7 a.m. made a huge difference in my energy levels th throughout the day. Usually I've been finding that in the middle of the day I just get so so tired like I need a nap but I didn't even feel like that today my energy was super consistent and I was vibing today so this is going to be definitely the new norm integrating more balance and I just overall feel really really good today and I have a feeling that tomorrow when I wake up I'm going to feel good too because of that extra sleep I just have all around so anyways I'm going to get to bed soon I'm going to actually read a bit of bed but it's so satisfying opening a new mouthwash because I don't have any left it smells so good I've also been brushing my teeth with an electric toothbrush for the past few years and I think I've been using it wrong this whole time and I think I'm going way too hard because when I brush I go like this I move the brush and it's vibrating but apparently you're just supposed to go like this because it's too hard on your teeth if you're doing both and I'm just like my natural instinct is to just go like this when I brush and I just can't help it so I think I might get a normal toothbrush as well so I can like switch in between them so I'm not constantly like scraping my teeth I mean I could do this I don't know why it irritates me when I'm not moving it. I always get comments of people being like, don't do that. And I know guys, like I know. It's just a habit, like I can't help myself. My friend actually went to the dentist recently and she said that she had a minute two years. The dentist told her she had nine cavities and she needed 15 fillings. So that's like really scary to me. And I'm gonna be doing preventative health measures for my mouth, so anyways. We are in our dental hygiene era in 2024. I do floss every day. I used to lie to the dentist and they used to be like, do you floss? And I'm like, yeah, I like all the time. <laughs> and I would never floss. And then they actually called me out and they're like, no, you don't. And I'm like, yeah, I do. And they knew I didn't. So ever since that day I went to the dentist, I have been flossing religiously. And it's all thanks to these little guys. Like this is the only reason why I floss. So these are the best for flossing. And I made a habit of doing it every night. So my oral healthcare is getting more extensive as the years pass by, but that is a good thing. And I also want to get a water flosser. So if you're not taking good care of your teeth, you should be. I feel like my skincare and my oral care is so extensive. It takes me like 20 minutes to get ready for bed, but I kind of love the process. Sometimes it's annoying, but it's got to be done. So you guys know that I read off of my iPad and I actually recently just started reading Reminders of Him by Colleen Hoover and I'm only like two, three chapters in but so far it's really compelling and it seems good. Apparently this is like people's like top three Colleen Hoover books so I'm really excited to read it. I've read Verity, It Starts With Us, It Ends With Us. What else did I read? I read one more. Was it November 9? I forget and I'm just really trying to get back into reading again half an hour before bed or at least like 15 minutes because it really does put me to sleep. Like when I'm scrolling on social media I feel like I can keep scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and I just can keep myself awake but when I'm reading there's like a sleepy trance that comes over me and I'm literally like bobbing my head because I get so tired it's probably because reading is so much more work than actually just scrolling mindlessly scrolling on tiktok before bed is like so much stimulation and it keeps you awake but it's like minimum effort on your part because all you have to do is move your finger and you get so much stimulation but with reading it's like you actually have to try hard to read the words and your brain is working so it makes you tired, it's not easy, and I just feel like it's so soothing before bed. But yeah, so anyways, I just wanted to share what book I'm reading right now. Um, And it seems like a pretty short book. I think 600 pages on the iPad. Writing is super big too. I'll keep you guys updated on how I like it, and please leave your book recommendations in the comments of what I should read next after I'm done this book. I'm not a bookworm or anything, so something easy. I'm just starting and I'm trying to get it really into reading since I always kind of go in waves, but I do 
want to implement reading more so let me know your recommendations because i know some of you guys are probably super into books but anyways i'm gonna go to bed i'm gonna start reading good night guys see you tomorrow for friday You guys i'm just heading out to my matt pilates class at oxygen yoga and fitness we love them so happy that it's friday i just love me a friday this week went by so freaking fast because monday was a holiday so i took that off i didn't really do much and then tuesday i cleaned the whole entire house like from head to toe because i just really wanted to take a day and clean the house i was gonna do it monday but i just wasn't feeling well so i was like okay i'll, I'll do it tuesday and i cleaned the house from the inside out like really really good and it took me like all freaking day so that day went by really fast and then now we're already a friday so that's a big slay but also it's like scary because it's the end of february like where is the time going i actually don't even know what to say about it because it's actually pretty scary last time i checked we were just in the middle of january but it's already end of february like it makes no sense i feel like time is going by faster but i am excited for summer though but i don't want to wish this time of year away either like the thing about this time of year is like it's really not my favorite because there's not much going on spring i get allergies don't really like that and then the weather is just like really bipolar it's like raining one day sunny and then five days of rain and like potentially snow and i'm like what like i was looking at the forecast for next week it's supposed to be snowing and i'm like no 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 no. like we already went through that so it's just i don't know this time of year is so bland i feel like my birthday is next month but yeah in terms of like the, the things going on it's just like meh so like i always try to wish this part of the year away but like i'm really <laughs> trying to appreciate this time of year as much as possible and just focus on like my day-to-day -day joys and because it's so easy to just be like oh my god can't wait for summer and just focus on that the whole time but it's like then you're just wishing your life away basically every season every spring and every winter so i'm really trying to just appreciate what's happening now in the now but anyways okay yeah i gotta go leave for my class so i'm not late but i will talk to you guys later and i'm really excited to work out today friday workouts are literally the best especially a workout class because they really pump you up. I feel so good after that workout and I had breakfast and now I'm going to kind of ease into the work day I'm gonna make a matcha right now and I'm gonna show you guys my iced matcha recipe because it is the best And I feel like I haven't shown it in a long time So if you're new here, you might not know how I make my matcha but literally tastes like a cafe and it's so freaking good But anyways, that's the plan for today I just have a bunch of editing to do computer work and I just need to get like a lot of things done So I'm gonna be sat at my office this whole whole day the best thing that i ever did for myself was create this office you guys and it's the best thing ever the video transformation is still not even done yet because it's not fully done like the office but it will be done soon and i'm just so happy with it i don't know why i didn't do this sooner so glad i thought of this it's just like a space where i can go in now feel creative actually like want to get work done and it's amazing it's the best thing ever but yeah so that is the plan for today it's a no makeup type of day just a lip liner and some skincare because on days like this where i'm not going out or doing like any heavy filming i'd rather just not um because i'm just gonna be editing anyways but yeah so that's the plan for today so happy it's friday gonna have a date night tonight with joel and i love fridays so much i look forward to them <laughs> i really do but this is today's work from home outfit i got some new pieces from garage i'll give you guys a little bit of a haul it's not sponsored but they did send them to me i'm obsessed like this is just such a cute comfy work from home outfit and the pants are flared at the bottom and so comfortable but still like put together and cute this is like my ideal work from home outfit that i love wearing and it's super comfy yet i still feel really cute yeah as you can see the pants are flared and it's just so flattering so that's the outfit of the day let's make our little matcha okay so you have to start off with a matcha powder obviously this one is from oasis adaptogens i love this one i just put a teaspoon in 
maple syrup she's literally the star of the show if you guys don't sweeten your ice drinks with maple syrup i don't know what you're doing because it's literally the best it's a healthier alternative to sugar and those syrups but it still acts like a syrup because of its consistency so i just like to put two of these little teaspoons in you could adjust it to your sweetness but this is like the perfect medium for me now you're gonna take some hot boiled water. You just need a tiny bit. I'm just literally gonna pour like a tablespoon and then I'm gonna get my frother. Now you wanna get your ice cubes of choice and put them in. This is a homemade almond slash cashew milk that I make. This is like the best milk ever and it has no filler or gums or anything. Get a little straw and mix her up but yeah that is my little homemade matcha recipe it's so freaking good so good 10 out of 10 recommend so good but anyways i'm gonna do a little mini garage haul because everything i got from them is so cute and i just want to share because garage is so affordable and they have the cutest things ever i do have like affiliate links with them so if you guys shop them please use my links i love their stuff so much i've always loved garage outfit i'm wearing now is from them i already showed you guys i also got these gray wide leg sweatpants from them oh my goodness these are just like the perfect fitting gray slouchy sweatpants i love these so much and these are going to be my new uniform these was like a pair of sambas so cute and you could just pair it with like a basic white tee or something i've been obsessed with like wide-legged sweatpants lately and these are so nicely fitting and adorable and then i got these sweatpants which are actually cuffed at the bottom and i love these too they're just perfect to wear out around the house and they're super super comfy and they fit really well like the perfect amount of oversized love these so much and then i also got these pink wide-legged sweatpants and they're super comfy i love the pink color these with a pair of like black and white shoes like sambas so so freaking cute and then i got this little gray zip up you can't go wrong with a zip up i have been needing actually more zip ups because they're so easy just to throw on love that and then i got this white lace tank top this tank top actually comes in a few different colors so freaking cute especially for the summer and then last thing i got is this graphic tee from them it just says brooklyn on the front and some cute cursive writing and also on the back because i've been wanting just like some more graphic tees because i feel like i don't have enough and these are just super nice to throw on with like sweatpants or whatever when you're chilling and it's a vibe or even with jeans but anyways that is my mini little garage haul if you guys want to see the try on go to my tiktok just go follow me on all my social media platforms instagram tiktok everything is linked down below i would appreciate your support on there so that's my little haul i'm going to continue working i have a lot still to do today we're grinding we're on grind mode also i like really hurt my knee i have no idea what i did to it oh my god there's a big bruise on it okay well that explains it weird